My name is Hunter W. I don't know what my hair is doing today. Don't worry about it. This is Rings of Power episode four. Was that Sauron? Was that Sauron in the last episode? Erendir is in trouble. I hope we get to see more of Elrond and the dwarves. This could be a pretty hefty episode. Well, it's a pretty shot. Whoa, what is this? Holy crap. Wow. No way, yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, they don't seem the best of friends with elves. Um, I don't know, these people are, I don't know how I feel about them. They seem like they're important characters, like, they're gonna be important characters, but... I don't know how to feel. Are they low, actually? <laughs> His people are scattered. <laughs> Leaders. But with your backing, they might unite behind his banner and fight. What do you mean? It swept me to this island for a reason. And it will not be quelled by you, Regent. Yikes. They are not happy with each other. <laughs> they are not happy with each other. Don't tell me. Tavern brawl. Just one of you wanted out. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen you ease that halyard proper a hundred times. That was deliberate. You're off the sea guard. Well, that's kind of what he wanted, anyways, isn't it? Oh, well, that sucks. The West, <laughs> the real Numenor, that garbage your brother used to spew again. Oh my God, is it him? No way this is Sauron. This, this can't be. It can't be Sauron. Oh, I would believe it though if it was. Holy shit. I can, I can kind of tell. Wow, I don't think we've ever seen Sauron like this before. Even the rocks and roots. It's that dark magic, boy. I should never have let you talk me into this. Oh yeah, and it's getting to the cows, the animals. Don't be such a soft belly. Oh yeah, that thing is definitely corrupting him. Whatever that thing is. Oh! 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 Well, no more rice. Young blood. <coughs> Ew. Ew. Where'd you get that? See, they are looking for it. Whoa, hey! Whoa! Give it here. It's a freaking what? Oh! Dude, that's probably Sauron's weapon, isn't it? Oh! Ew, he's in the water. Okay, he had to hear the... He didn't hear the splash? He had to have heard that. Was there anything else you wanted to ask about, dearie? No. Suspicion. God, it's Kazan. Not bad. Not bad. I just hope he believed me. He's not easily taken in that elf. Oh, yeah. He was suspicious for the right reason. Lucky my future queen could he was right. You might need a dwarf to push it. Maybe. It worked! Well, I think I was right. You do need a dwarf, but of 
course he knows that. That's the... Oh no! <laughs> Lighter than silk. Harder than iron as weaponry it would best our proudest blades. Oh no. I know Mithril is like one of the hardest steels that they wear. Ooh! Oh no. Okay, well, I know Mithril is like one of the hardest stones, and there's a Mithril shirt or a male shirt that um is passed down from the hobbits. Oh, here she goes! I wouldn't advise that. I can't very well let her leave. <laughs> if you knew exactly where she was going. Forgive me. I did not know. If you know the full extent of his decline, I should like to keep it that way. Yikes. So there's a whole reason for that. Yeah, it's... Yeah. That vision. Numenor's basically fucked. Hey, he sniffs ya. Never mind. <laughs> That's close. Good hiding spot. Oh, what happened? Oh, Erendir, fuck yeah. Shit, there's more than five of them. It looked like there were only like a few at the fucking village, dude. Oh, caught it. Use it. Shoot it back. Nice and swift. Yep. That's the sun. Okay, they're good. They're good. The sun's out. Some heart to heart, one on one with each other, they're friends. Too happy to hear any judgment. So long as it granted me the opportunity to have but one more conversation with my father. That's what. That's damn right. What time you have left with yours? Yep. Exactly. Forever, am I with you, my son? For sure. For sure, man. Even in anger. Sometimes in anger, most of all. Yep. There is nothing to forgive. That's a huge weight lifted off his shoulders. He's able to talk to his dad like that. To go with him to Linden tomorrow. What it is? It is no sword. It is a power. Yeah, it is. Clearly. Beautiful servant, he was lost, but shall return. Sauron, have you heard of him, lad? Have you heard of Sauron? Yeah, yeah, come on. We must have seen it in the skies a few weeks back now. The starfall means his time is near, and it is to you and me, lad. Wait a minute, what does the star fall have to do with Sauron? That would make sense then if the, the stars, there were multiple stars instead of just one going across the sky. Maybe he fell? 
as maybe he fell as well out of the sky. I don't know. No way it's happening right now. <laughs> no, it's just... It's coming. That's all. That future will happen if you don't do anything about it. Call out to her. So she did... Okay, she's staying then. Never mind. Good. It's a good choice. Yes. All right. So they're all going. That's good. Good. Okay, so I I was a little worried. I thought it would... I'll talk after. I was a little worried. Okay, so that right there, I just want to say, I was a little worried. I thought they were going to split up. Halbrand and Galadriel. I thought Galadriel was actually leaving. And Numenor, that, like, that was just it. Like, Numenor wasn't going to be really talked about again for the in the coming episodes. Um, I was hoping that they were, all these characters would go to the Southlands. She had clear information that the Southlands are in trouble, and that's exactly what we're seeing. I was like, that's what I was saying. I was hoping we would see them all kind of circulate into one another in the later season so we could see them actually fight and help each other in the Southlands because the people in the Southlands are in trouble. And like as Galadriel was saying in the Hall of Lore, if that's one place that's in trouble, think about the rest of Mordor, the map. The map looked like Mordor. The sign looked like Mordor. They're in trouble. It's or the map of the Southlands, but they are in trouble. And this is where I think the season is going. They're all going to meet up all the characters here. Um, I don't know what could possibly happen in the later seasons because I know there's quite a few. But this season, at least, I know that we're kind of going into this territory where all the characters are going to see each other and they're going to fight and they're going to defend Southlands. I like it. I'm, I'm invested. Now, as for the Harfoots, I was hoping we would get to see them more in this episode. We didn't see them at all, but I think they're migrating to Southlands and that's going to be troubling. <laughs> That's my prediction. They're going to end up near the Southlands, at least, and possibly Gandalf, whoever the stranger is, uh, I'm just saying Gandalf, is going to help. Maybe him and Sauron will have a face-off in the first season. They won't even know who he, like, they won't even know who they are. Like, they're not going to know that one is Sauron and one is Gandalf. That's how they become to know each other and know of the evil and the good in the world. Now, Sauron, I, I can't say for sure that he's going to take the Southlands. I'm, I'm predicting he will because the, the orcs do multiply a lot into the coming events of Lord of the Rings. They're everywhere in Mordor. Um, but he is young and it could be um, possibly like he's reckless and he's not so disciplined as he is later in like Lord of the Rings in the Third Age. Um, but it would be really nice to see if they actually were showing Sauron not exactly succeeding at first and then maybe in the later seasons of Rings of Power, maybe he comes back or maybe he comes back with a bigger force and does succeed. So I don't know if they're actually going to take the Southlands. I think they might defend against it. And then, like I said, more seasons in the show. I mentioned last episode that Numenor wasn't exactly my peak of interest. I think the dwarves are where I was really interested. Moria was really nice to see in this episode. Elrond and his relationship, Calabrimbor. I was really happy to see that in this episode. Last episode, I don't think we didn't see that. And I was really interested in the Harfoots last episode. We didn't see that this one. So it's going to be a switch off of all these characters and subplots, which I'm enjoying. You know, you get a little taste of this. You get to see what's going on here. And eventually, it, maybe it'll all come together in the end of the season. If not, later in the show. But I think uh, I'm, I'm digging what's going on. I'm digging what they're doing with the show. I like it so far. This was nice to see. So... With that being said, those are my thoughts on this episode. If you have any thoughts, anything to say, um, anything I got wrong, let me know in the comments. Definitely let me know. I'll give you a heart. Subscribe to me if you guys want to see the rest of this show. I'm going to be putting it on here every week. Thanks. Uh, take care and bye-bye.